You know what sucks is when you got a, I went to, uh, last night I come home and both my tire sensors had went out. So I went to, uh, the tire shop and I bought these tires there and this was on in the front. Cause here's my spare. They had it up here. There's my spare. And, uh, just putting it back on. My lug nuts. But uh yeah. And it's like oh check this out. Alright. Where the hell is my car here? Look. Seventeen degrees outside. Now I'm changing fucking tires. Oh, you're always home. No, not really. Always on the fucking road. So, otherwise, my tire sensors wouldn't go out after coming home from work. So, yeah. You see them rivets. Right here. See that? Damn. Must be really low. Ah. <sighs> what the fuck? Little bit low. Sad when you gotta take it down there three times, all right? And see how my lug nuts look? Well, they decide take a rivet gun. Look at here. That's another seven fucking dollars. Cause I'll show you guys here in a minute why. Cause when you go to take the jet, ja uh, jack. When you go to take the wrench. To it, all right. It don't work. You get stuck. Hi, Cooper. What you doing, boy? Really? You called it. Alright, so... <sighs> Take your nuts. Yeah. Take your nuts. <sighs> and you want to put them... Diagonal from each other. Put Changing the tire. I had to crank it like about 10 times before it could go up. So, there's a metal casing on these new, newer ones. Um, it's almost like 10, but it's not. And it broke because they put the wrong fucking size number. And if you look, it says one. That's a one here. Metric. Stupid. And the guy that done it, right? Apparently took it over there the first time and he's like, oh your batteries are dead in your uh your sensors. Like what the fuck? Cause when I I don't know if you guys remember when I done a uh other video where I had get hub hub caps because I had to get a new one. Uh and that would be twice that I had to do that. Um, they have these little sensors in here in the, uh, valve stems, and the valve stem hooks up to It's a sensor in these newer cars, and, uh, what happens is that over time, 
the batteries they did, but that's beside the point because I paid for four of them and they're a hundred they was charging me a hundred dollars per sensor. Right? You get them on the phone. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing about it is you can get them on eBay on eBay for a pack of four for forty-seven dollars. I was like, you fucking rip off. So it makes really no sense on that part, on their part anyway, it makes them look stupid. I know they have to make a profit with a $50 market profit margin for that. Like, really? And then they charge me $25 for these tires. This one was on the back, which when I got in an accident, the two tires that I had was out of alignment with the treading on it. And, uh, because these are the old ones. You can see they're war. And for a front wheel drive vehicle, these pull and lock. So these get used more. And I'm like, that makes no sense. So. But what you want to do after this, after you put them all in, Put it on you have to make sure it's off the ground otherwise you're not going to get it on right remember lefty loosey righty tighty so I will go this way and make sure you have this besides a jack like this with, with this made in Mexico like that because this right here, see how that, because I've worked with rivets and pins and stuff before. But this right here is a rivet. That right there is a rivet. And this is a metal joint. So, the more pressure you put on that over time, it'll snap, it'll break, and this will hit you in the head and probably, probably end up killing somebody. So, Ford, that's the biggest flaw, fucking mistake that you've ever made. So, but anywho, I'm gonna do this because it's cold as fucking shit out here and I'm freezing. I've been out here since 7 a.m. and that's already probably almost 11. So, I've been freezing my ass off. Look, someone hit my tire. But, when you tighten that up, it'll go up like against the um that right here is your rotor your brake and you get two rotor pads there's one right here and there's another one in the back them are rotor pads so and they're like 400 dollars a pop so, i'm going it's cold my hands are cold so later